word. Hello and welcome to another episode of the B-Side Word. We are a group of friends from around the world and we share our thoughts and opinions on interesting articles every single week. I'm sat here today with Devon. Hello. Emma. Hey. CJ. Hello. And Alex. What up, what up? So where do we start, Emma? Okay, first article today is about another disguise. So, you know, sometimes we talk about these random people with their random disguises. And I saw a really cool one today. So what? I thought we'll, we'll discuss mean? that first. Okay. Do we remember dad trying to dress up his daughter to get out of the prison? I, I got an update on that. Okay. He, he, he died. Oh, yeah. No, we knew that. Oh, okay. So... Yeah. Didn't yeah, we get an update more, on that a few weeks ago? Yeah, a bit more sensitive. <laughs> okay, we'll be a little bit more sensitive. How, how did he die? <laughs> in prison. Yeah. Like, I, I think that's why he was in a hurry to get out. Just oh. yeah. No, I think he committed suicide. Oh, did he? Because I think that was like his last chance. I don't know. Again, we might be speculating. Okay, let's continue. Um, the and there's, I'm sure there's been some other disguises that we've talked about. Oh, yeah, two two pay hat guy with the brick of brick of. Uh, uh-huh. Heroin. Under his toupee. Under toupee, yep. Yep. So there's mm. another one. This guy, who was a 32-year-old man, disguised himself to look like an 81-year-old man so that he could travel on a pensioner's passport, right? So he was just a side ass. <laughs> <laughs> so he dressed up like with he, he he got himself like a white beard um a white turban big glasses you know got to cover the eyes why don't they do sunnies and just say oh i can't see like i need to wear these special sunglasses even inside unless i don't know and Not maybe sure. they'd still make him take it's them off a great disguise anyway. <laughs> maybe that's even more sus it's like why are you wearing sunnies yeah. inside um, so he was, he basically caught the attention of staff when he reached the security at New Delhi's, um, Indira Gandhi International Airport. Yeah. This was last week or maybe a couple of weeks ago. I don't know. Um, and he was like acting just as though he was like so extremely old, incapacitated. They said to him, oh, can you stand up, sir? And he's like, no, I can't. And they said, okay, what if we help you? He was like, oh, okay, then. And then when they helped him to stand up, they noticed something. Yeah, what did they notice? He had an erection. No. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> he stood up straight. <laughs> He was pointing about using his hands. Well, actually, he was refusing to be frisked. <laughs> but the the root, the roots of his beard were dark and not white. Oh, wow. Down, someone's, down, lo- down, down. S- someone's looking that close. Yeah. Well, look. Ooh. You can see a picture of him here. Yeah. Right. And then... He was avoiding their eyes, but then they were looking at his skin and were like, no way is that the skin of an 81-year-old. So I don't know if you guys can see the article, but I've got the passport picture here. This is the guy he was trying to pretend he was. I reckon it looks like Mm. a pretty good job. Yeah, he looks quite similar. He's done a pretty good job. (laughs) He's done a pretty good job. He really has. Like, But you wouldn't complain if it was in a movie or something. No. (laughs) You'd be like, yep, that's the one. (laughs) Yeah, <laughs> like if, if he was if he dressed like that and then he was performing an old person in a movie, you wouldn't know. You just you just go with it, I guess. Yeah. How about if you were the um the guard? The, the guard. You go. You look at him and you look at the passport. You go, pretty good, mate. Yeah. Pretty good. I'm gonna let you through, <laughs> but <laughs> next time I'm gonna let you through. <laughs> <laughs> you will be the worst guy. For your effort, the, mate. <laughs> that's a plus. <laughs> Yeah. Next time, <laughs> next time. And, and, and then the plane blows up as it's driving away. He's You're not... like, oh crap! I shouldn't have let that guy through. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, I mean... should have stopped him when I saw the direction. Was he? <laughs> <laughs> do you reckon he was doing this as a legitimate? All right, I'm actually trying to get somewhere. Or do you reckon he was doing a? Oh, let's see if I can pull this off. No, I think he was trying to just get a cheaper fare for for real. What? Why? But what? what, 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 what? Who? What airline does cheap affairs for pensioners? Is that a thing? Oh, it's, not, it's not a bus. Probably. <laughs> I thought it might have been. It might have been. It says at the end of the article that they don't actually know why he did it. Oh. Um, but it could be that like the guy booked the ticket, and then he was like, oh, "I can't go." He was like, "Well, I'll go." 
Or, <laughs> or, or maybe he can't get a, he can't go anywhere because he has a criminal record. Ooh. And he can't get a yeah, that might other be, countries. That might be more likely. Yeah, I just feel like likely. if that was the case, they would have flagged and, that in and, like and, really quickly. And Ernest will let him, the reason. And Ernest will let him through. Yeah. Good guard. <laughs> That's why I'm not a guard. I'm <laughs> saying if I was so a guard. Just tell me you really are, mate. But just to double check, but otherwise. <laughs> I like, do you know what I like, right? The fact that he's chosen to wear the exact same outfit as the passport. <laughs> 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 like, that I, I, suspicious, no? <laughs> I can look exactly like this guy. That's really yeah. <laughs> so j- just to just to like diverse no not digress. Di- digress. No, uh, we digress. We as as uh, just a no. bit of a digression. Oh, okay. We, are you, are you are wanting diverse. to digress it? Are yeah. you wanting to hey, We're diverse. You, okay. you keep your digression to yourself. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> um so there was I just saw on I think it was Instagram, mm. there was yes. this old lady and she was begging for money. Mm-hmm. And she's like, you know, when you get older, you sort of bend at the hips and you can't really straighten out. Mm. So she was really bent at the hips and all she had was she couldn't look up. She had a cane, and at the end of the cane, she had like this uh, cup, mm. ask, and asking for money, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. And after her shift of acting like an old lady, she'd go <laughs> to the van. <laughs> oh God! She'd go to the van. <laughs> you were the one that said, "Let's lighten up. Let's lighten up on yeah. these people." She'd go to the van after her shift. <laughs> <laughs> she Poor would thing. exit the van as a as a normal late, uh, <gasps> like she was under thirty, <gasps> and um, she would. Is she single? And she had Louis Vuitton bag, and she was just very, and then Louis the, Vuitton no. bag. Louis Vuitton bag. She used to get the money and buy expensive stuff. No, it, yeah. yeah. Good, you can't get that so much money. A surely. good creative way to make money. I think. Oh, you don't get that much money from begging in Sydney. I don't. Do you? Uh, I mean, otherwise, I don't know. That's I mean, a good she might put in a ten-hour you know? shift every day. Maybe it's a fake Louis Vuitton bag. Oh, maybe, yeah, yeah maybe it's a fake Louis. <laughs> But oh yeah, if she's if she's willing to fake to be an old person for ten hours a day, she <laughs> might also be willing to fake having a Louis Vuitton yeah. bag. Yeah. But did she look like an old lady? Like yeah, because she had like if you see it, like she, you don't even see her face. So she's really covered. Um, I don't know what what a veil. She was wearing mm. a veil. Was she and she was, no, like the old ladies, the old European ladies. They wear veils. Like a, a head headscarf. Headscarf. Yeah. Like the old. And then she like because she was oh, looking yeah. down all the time. Like you, you didn't really see her face. You just saw her. But it's just so. How many people do you reckon you come across that are in disguise and you just never notice? Yeah, I wonder. Like, in, in your day, do you think know. like? Do you imagine just one day deciding just to be in a disguise <laughs> and then just walk around, but don't like for no reason other than to be in disguise. <laughs> and then just see if you get different attention. Well, that's so true because that there's that, you know, Netflix, whatever shows, you know, TV and all that. Love it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what show? What show? What did you I say? Wait, yeah, yeah. What show? I know no like, idea that, what your point was. That went was, absolutely was that. nowhere. What Those show? words put together, <laughs> like, I don't understand yeah, 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 what the, the, Netflix, what the meaning know, no, no, was behind it. it. <laughs> You know the Netflix of TV shows, yeah. All those, yeah, I like those. Love yeah. it. <laughs> Loving it. <laughs> no, it's too early to have me crying in hysterics. Okay. What I was trying to say is there's a show on Netflix and um, I forgot which one it was. And they did a experiment and they had the same lady just fall down as... Uh, the same lady oh, dressed up as an old person I and fall remember. down, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And then when she fell down, everyone came to her aid. And then, um, or like, yeah, that she fell down and was just like lying there, like, oh, I can't get up type thing. Um, and they all came to her aid. And then when she took off disguise, she did it again, but they just made her like a bit raggedy or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then she fell down and everyone was like, ew, like junkie type thing. Like, ew. like didn't even, t- mm. didn't even look her way. Mm. Same person. And they did with a guy, yes. same exact thing. That reminds me of, a, remember that magician guy on Netflix? I can't remember his name. I know, you, I know you've watched him because you're the one who put me onto it. But he did, he did something similar, but his was, because he's a magician, it's sent around the magic part as well, it's the illusions. Mm-hmm. There was a girl sat outside a, a restaurant or a cafe or something, an out, out, outside table seating. And um, this person's like, oh, can you look after my bag? She goes to the toilet and the woman's like, yeah, I'll look after it. This guy walks by, reaches over the fence, grabs a bag and runs off like a thief. Yeah. And then two seconds later, a cop car pulls up from the same direction the thief came. Um, oh, you said about the this. Guy gets, 
Yeah, you the guy gets out this. and the cop is the same person it's as the, the thief. the same person. And that confused me, that story I remember. And she didn't recognise it. She goes, oh, there was a guy. And she's trying to describe the guy and it was to the cop. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> she's, she's describing him to him. That's but it's, it's that, it's almost like as simple as changing clothes. Like he didn't, it wasn't makeup or anything like that. He didn't try to look like anything crazy. He's just a change of clothes. Changed oh everything. Oh my God. So going back to the article, it was oh, worth yeah. a crack. I mean, yeah. Yeah. it was worth <laughs> a crack. Well, like, the difference is, I guess, that they have a picture. Yeah. But and they honestly, can compare it to. And I would the, think he's that got the... like, he obviously apparently uses Nivea men. <laughs> paid advertisement because um, his skin was too nice to uh, it's all, it's what he should have done he should have just, he just left his e, face man. underwater e. for a uh, he should have just left his face underwater for a very very long time does it work? I don't think it does go wrinkly I know your fingertips too oh <laughs> gosh I wonder if your face does actually but uh, it, could you imagine he he dressed up perfectly like nothing suspicious and then the person at the table goes okay what's your name and he just says his, his own name accidentally <laughs> not thinking <laughs> <laughs> okay if you go f- if you go f- through order efforts you, you know the name you're about to say yeah, you yeah. could be distracted <laughs> yeah it's like when you take i don't know if you guys ever tried it when you take a fake id when you're younger like you borrow your a friend's or an older sibling's id yeah and then you're like is- constantly trying to remember the date of birth <laughs> and your name we to scratch them. Yeah. And then like you go they go for all the scenarios of all the things they could ask you to prove that you're this person like Oh my god. <laughs> One I had to have warning. a fake ID to get into the clubs cuz all my friends were were a year older than me. We just had to scratch them. Yeah. So like them. instead of 84 it would be 81. 81. What do you mean you scratched them? You scratched the oh, four. Yeah, you scratch off the So it looks like a thing. But then they started putting holograms on the yeah. and oh. it made it a bit harder. Cuz in England back in the day that's a, that's quite an easy one to do, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Because so there was like the just a weird amount of people born in eighty one. Yeah. Where you were from? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 just anyway. <laughs> but so you this can... guy. Yeah. The thing that I, I think we may have overlooked as well is he was pretty pretty committed because you've got to remember he doesn't have to only do this on the way out but he has to come back as well. Yeah, and so he, was, he was he was like fully he in had a to wheelchair. The whole thing again. Yeah. It's like a full on act. Like, how do you act decapacitated? De- 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 what is it? Decapitated? You, you got, I can do decapitated. You take your t shirt and you put it above your head. Like this, look. Show us. I forgot I had the word. <laughs> how do you act? Um, incapacitated? Doesn't work with headphones. Incapacitated. On. Yeah, incapacitated. <laughs> how did I forget that? <laughs> Um, do you just sort of sit there and go, oh. <laughs> I got a feeling. You, you have to grumble every now and again, and you have to be slightly racist. Yeah. And, uh, you, have, you have to be like, you have to talk about the war, reference the war often. <laughs> you, you have to be old people that's talk. In, that's in the UK, at least. I don't know about the. Uh... Oh. So this guy's from India. Yeah. I think yeah, I got a feeling be. that uh, he wanted to go to America. And Donald Trump won't let him. And, uh, <laughs> and not come back. But why is he going as an 81 year old? Because because he take the makeup off. Yeah, easy. and then he'll be a young bloke, and they're oh, looking for an old yeah. bloke, and he'll be a young bloke. Well, I, and also if you're 81 oh, yeah, going, going to, to America, York. they don't care as much because. Or do they care as much actually? If you're an old, like, you're not, you you're not going to feed off their system for 50 years. No, they do you're care because it's medical bills. When you're yeah. older. Yeah, but that's true. Everyone has private insurance in America. They haven't got Medicare. But um, there's there's a uh, uh, I know in Norway at least when um like Menedi and her family spoke about having people come over, it's easier for them to have their like older family come over be- for a visit than it is to have a younger family come over for a visit because yeah. they feel like the younger ones are more likely to want to stay. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, hmm. the older ones are more likely just to have a visit because it's like I've got my home. There's nothing left. You know. Yeah. I don't I can't when you're eighty one, do you really want to go to a new country and like learn a new culture? No. No. Nah. Yeah. No. Nah. <laughs> but in saying that, a lot of I actually do know a lot of people's parents that have come over and have stayed because they start helping out with the grandchildren and they stay for that reason. Mm. So who do you know? Maybe. Who? A few people. I shall not mention names. Like who? Nobody. <laughs> Don't <Hmm>. you? <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, good on this guy. Another great disguise. Hold on. Good on this guy. We are promoting 
trying to smuggle yourself to America. No, innovative thinking. This week on Max Facts. Max Facts! Max Facts! Max Facts! <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Um, my fact this week is Max about facts. the origin of the phrase hands down. Oh, oh. <gasps> wow. So it's not from a drinking game? It's not from a drinking game. So say if you win something hands down. You, un- you understand that phrase? Yeah. Yes. So like... No, I won that hands down. You won that hands down. That was easy. Yeah. Do you know where it comes from? Uh, no. Hands Inform down. Inform me. Uh, it, it was the police saying to someone, "Put those hands down." <laughs> uh, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. And then they they thought they'd won. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> You're like, okay. No. <laughs> so the phrase "hands down" comes from horse racing and refers to a jockey who is so far ahead that he can afford to drop his hands and loosen the reins. No. Wow. Isn't wow. that insane? Yeah. <laughs> That's insane how you can how how sayings just evolve over time and just it's are known as something completely. Just imagine different. some peaky blinder geezer used to say, Oh, you win that hands down and then Yeah. All of a sudden everyone no. else started using it. What well. do you what do you mean evolved? It hasn't evolved. It's, it's into a new meaning. Well, I mean, it does yeah, mean yeah, the same. It means the same. It means same the thing. same, but it's because of that. But obviously, well, it, it doesn't mean the same, does it anymore? Well, yeah, it's we're not talking every oh, time. What does it mean now? Well, no, every time you win like the deck of card, the the card game, you you you're not saying I won that because I loosened the reins. Like when... no, you said I won that hands down. <laughs> I might start using that. That's a good one. I might instead of saying hands down, I'm going to say I won that with loosened reins. <laughs> I beat you so badly, I took my hands off the ring. But the, the, I mean, the, I mean, the, I mean, the meaning's the same, right? And I wave my hands up in the air. Wave my up in the air. Put your hands up in the air. <laughs> Maybe we can use the uh, Usain. Remember when Usain Bolt broke the world record with his shoelace untied? <gasps> but was you he that? Maybe that can be a saying. He won that lace untied. Lace yeah. untied. <laughs> We've got a new saying. But that's that's like viral, viral. <laughs> but that's like yeah. that's I'm pretty sure that's how you start anything viral, viral, right, Alex? You know this stuff. <laughs> yeah, oh, just yeah, shout yeah, it yeah. enough. That's, that's, yeah. that's the algorithm right there. <laughs> <laughs> it's gab- I can feel it gathering momentum. Now, now it's evolved. Okay, now the okay, saying okay, is evolved. Viral. Now you've asked enough. Lace is untied. Oh, I love that. I'm gonna use. I that. fell over. Why? My lace is one tied. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's <laughs> how we I think viral, viral. viral. I think for laces untied to be the same thing, he would have to stop mid race, untie laces, and then carry on running. Oh yeah. I feel like laces untied is like it no, see, means if he was racing me, still, he could have still that. win. <laughs> or Kathy Freeman day, she could just take off her her aerodynamic cap and be like, "Don't need that anymore. I'm way ahead." What? what? Cap off. Cap off. <laughs> okay. This is a really cool article, actually. Um, this woman has invented refugee tents that can collect rainwater and store solar energy. So if you take a look at the picture on the article, which we will link, they're like dome structures, not very big, not not massive, but big enough dome structures, which have like these wavy lines in and out. Patterns, wavy patterns. Wavy patterns, I guess. Yeah. So it's, it, they're called, she's called them like weaving a home. That's their name. And it's you, it's like this unique structural fabric composed of high strength plastic tubing molded type stuff yeah yeah into like these curvy lines and they expand and enclose during different weather conditions so they can collect rainwater provide basic sanitation like showering um oh and with the rainwater it goes from basically from the top of the tent and then filters down the sides into like storage pockets yeah Crazy. I'm intrigued. The um, design is inspired by the scales 
on Slip. a snake or the skin oh. of a snake. Oh, wow. Wow. Be- because obviously a snake is very flexible and That's watertight. Cool. So if you imagine for the listeners what a snake skin looks like, it's kind of like that, but then shaped in a dome. dome. Yeah. I was actually thinking fish. Yeah, it's got uh, like that sort of scaly type thing. Like <coughs> like like jellyfish. And they've been under uh, Wait. it's a jellyfish? Oh, because of the top, because of the dome the dome, part dome of top. Well it's I'm I'm on the I went on her website, the like the actual and then they said it from nature's form, function and motion, and it has a picture of a snake. And this is an award wow. so her name she's an award winning um architect. Her name's Jo um a beer Say Kali, she's a Jordanian Canadian architect, and it's just incredible what you know these people come up with. Um, they've been under development since 2013. It still hasn't been finalised, just because it takes like she just wants to make sure it all is working properly, and then she hopes mm-hmm. for um, basically for this to sort of be the standard <sighs> refugee home, maybe around the world. I don't know. Have you, have you seen the picture? Where they, I, I'm assuming they've done it to show reference of size, where they put the person inside of it. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah. it looks massive. Why, is, why does it just look like this? They photoshopped a woman in like it a is. casual sleepover or something. It is Photoshop. <laughs> Do you reckon? Yeah, but it's such a weird picture. To yeah, take. I thought she was inside. I, I. No, 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 definitely not inside. <laughs> That's Photoshop. You're kidding well, she, me. It looks like they've just gone. All right, let's make this look as homely as possible. Let's put this. In. She looks like she's listening to like a, a nighttime story or something. <laughs> <laughs> the refugee picture isn't like, oh, she looks like a refugee. <laughs> Let's put a photo into it. I thought that was real. Gosh, I must fall for everything. But um, and then at night, if you see the nighttime picture, it's got like the light glowing from inside of them, which I guess is the solar power bit. So you don't need any. You don't need electricity. No. Of course not. Um, that. Pro- the solar provides the electricity. I don't know. How. Huh. I'm not. Yeah. Is it aircon? The solar power can provide no. the electricity. I think is the idea. But my um, this is me, not I guess pessimistic or my like feeling is often it happens that somebody who does something for a living decides to solve a problem <coughs> which they might not know, like they might not fully understand the problem. So my yeah. My like question is when like she's designed a very nice looking tent which has solar panels and can collect water and I'd imagine it's going to cost a significant amount more than a normal tent. Um and then and then she claims it um is like the structure's better so it won't fall over as much that's one of the claims. Oh. Um but it'd be interesting and I think this happens with loads of different things where the, the someone decides they can solve a problem based on their skills. But if you actually spoke to like refugees and asked them what they wanted, like would they want this? If yeah. for the same money they can just have like a big well which had all the water in the middle. No, they just want permanent there. residence. They don't want a tent that they're gonna live in for a long time. Give me a house. But the thing is some of these people live there for five yeah. years, so no, honestly, yeah, they it's want, like indefinite they want it a to lot be, of the time. Yeah. Nice, but I'm just I'm just saying, like for from what I see, like, and I've tried to look for a website and try to give her the benefit of the doubt. But I can't see anywhere where it says like we've gone to the refugees and said like, what do you want? Often it happens, and it happens a lot. Like when you see it on uh, certain charities, say this is what we're gonna do for a community that's struggling, and then they haven't asked the community like what they would want. If yeah, if this is resources, if this is at know? the top of their list, or if there's something more important that they would prefer. Oh wow. Well. <laughs> Never thought about like, that. Would they? What if they're saying they might make these cool tents that solar power and water collecting? They say, oh, by the way, we have a well in the middle. We just get really cold at night. We, that's all we want to change at the moment. Yeah. And like, oh, but I've designed this. Look how cool it is, and it costs only such and three thousand dollars per tent. And they're like, oh no, 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 we don't want that. You oh. know. I'm guessing. I'm not saying that's what it is, but if you're making something which is solar power and collects water and shape like this, and it's made out of composite plastic, it's not going to be cheap. The same price as a tent. No. Yeah. Am I, this this is for refugees, right? Yeah. Yeah. So realistically, wait, hold on, I'm I'm lost. Refugees, where where are we talking? Okay, this is so. I think these are the Syrian refugees, of which there are about thirteen and a half million. Bloody that are hell. either internally like, like displaced. Around the world. They e- that's either internally displaced or um, refugees outside of Syria since 2011. Right. That's a lot of refugees. Yeah. That's a lot. Yeah, that's a lot. Yeah. 
but obviously there's way more refugees than that. I mean, that's just the. I think that's just in terms of the Syrian since the Syrian civil war. Mm. Yeah, I think mm. what Maxi touches. I, I mean, is is a tent what you want anyway? Like, regardless of how high tech it is, if you're a refugee, don't you want somewhere stable? Yeah, but I think the, of... one of the benefits of this is it's. Uh, transportability which is one of the designs you can so easily again, like, pack it it's up. one of those things it's like if we sat, I, I just feel like if we sat in a room and come up with a tent which we thought would be perfect for refugees it might be a different tent to this one but we'd be like oh yeah this is perfect but then you go to a refugee and say what do you want and they're like oh you know like this like this is the main thing like oh i didn't think about that like why yeah. would you think about that with, with i'm you know i'm sat in my house on my nice sofa trying to think of what the best design is for a refugee. And I'm not like, the thing is, she might have consulted them more and they might have said, we just really want to be able to charge my iPhone that I bought the other day. Like, that might be what the refugee said, but I don't know. But that was, that I is, totally get what you're saying, actually, because... That'd be a cool tip of gl- uh, glamping. <laughs> it does, look, it does yeah. actually look really nice. But um, you're 100% route. right, because I had a similar thing when we were doing, you know, collecting for the homeless, and we were just sort of collecting what we think, and then... <laughs> You actually speak to someone that works with them every day and they're like, oh, um, that's great and everything. Their main thing that they really need is just like toilet roll. Like they need heaps and heaps of toilet roll. And so showers. N- n- wasn't it? Because we were doing like shower gels and all this and all that. But like the things she was telling us was I was like, oh, OK, well, maybe we'll just put our efforts towards that instead. Yeah. So you're right. Well, you, you think you know what they might want, but. Mm. In actual fact, could be different. Could be totally different. Does anybody get the feeling of Yeezy Home when looking at these? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking of fire. You know the fire. fire, fire. Yeah, these are nicer fire than the fire festival, festival ones. <laughs> I'm just. That's what I thought. As soon as <laughs> I saw them, really cool. I think. Uh, these don't come with a cheese sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> it actually comes more in that tent than what happened in the fire t- uh, fire tent. Yes. At least they have water when it comes and electricity. In the fire tents, they didn't even have any of that. Nothing. What's the fire tents? You know the Jar Rule Festival? The fire festival. Fire festival. Oh. That did yeah, not yeah. end well. Yeah, if you didn't if you didn't know what that was, thinking of a fire tent would probably be very confusing. Oh yeah. yes. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, <fine. laughs> we just talk as that everybody knows. <laughs> fire tent. These are the fire festival tents. This Those was supposed to be. <laughs> this was supposed to be the f- the festival of the. Let's say One century. One minute warning. On a beautiful aspect. tropical Caribbean island. That's another one that's photoshopped. Look at that fire. Well, no, no, no. This was well, the, the one the, that the they were trying to. The sex girl in the middle. <laughs> yeah. Of all the shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's not photoshopped. That's photoshopped. She's passed out. <laughs> And her uh, her back is arch. Yeah, she likes to arch her back back. When she's, <laughs> I'm passed out. <laughs> arch her back looks sexy. <laughs> Thinking about the fire thing, actually, do you reckon like ja Rule can ever show his face and be taken seriously? I think he he started he, yeah. another. He also do it again. Another festival. Yeah. He started another company. Yeah. I'm pretty sure he started another company. <coughs> oh my lord. This is good. We, we he called it Fire Inc. <laughs> We live in a world where we have very short-term memories. Yeah. So, oh, my God. Yeah. What was if you're that? not in jail, you're pretty much good to go. Yeah. Yeah. So what was that, mate? <laughs> <laughs> um, right. So are we... Is this a good thing? I actually quite like the design. Um, I guess we don't know because we don't know what refugees want. Um, I think yeah, my, like, the point I would love to yeah. stress, and it's quite a serious point, I guess, a podcast like this Mm -hmm. but the point i'd like to stress is like helping out is um amazing like obviously but the assumption which a lot of people make as if we are in a better position because we're more intelligent and we have the solutions is just completely flawed Mm. Mm -hmm. yeah so the idea that people are in this position are in there because they just wasn't smart enough to do otherwise and they don't know how to do stuff themselves is like a completely flawed idea so yeah. i think yes. when you help people the, the first thing you do is ask them what they need and then you can assess if it's an intelligent decision because you can then obviously look at the facts right yeah but otherwise like my and hopefully I'm, again i don't know if this woman did this or not what's her name Ab- abir Sikali or something mm. if she might have done this and i might be like completely slight enough and no reason but 
I see you see it a lot where someone comes up with a solution for someone else's problem because they think they're just yeah you know yeah the Abu ladies no that hundred percent makes yeah. sense hundred yeah. percent. And CJ's <laughs> just looking at the attractiveness of the lady. CJ. <laughs> <laughs> if the tent's <laughs> rocking, then both are knocking. <laughs> Which lady? The one in the tent? So, uh, for my alcohol this week, I found something on Twitter which was just a really interesting piece. It says, this is from Zach at Z- Z-A-K-N-D underscore, if you want to look it up, mm-hmm. what every country does best. And it's just a picture with a world map and tagged to every country is their number one thing. It says, oh. because every country is the best at something, this is according to data. I don't know who data is, but <laughs> we'll go with it. Yeah. Um, so I, I thought, let's play a little bit of a game with it and let's All see right. if we can guess what the world's number one thing or the country's number one things are. Okay. So let's start with... Our most populous nation in the room, the Australias. Oh. What do you think? What do you think Australia's number one thing is? What their what their number one app? Tim Tams. Oh. No. Can you give me like mining. an example of um? Is it mining? But sorry, I, I might have missed that. Like, what's the do you want a random country? Yeah, like just say yeah. a random country, so I know what kind of thing okay. we're talking about. Like, okay. it's not like they're really good at comedy. See- you know what I mean? Are yeah, you I'm, about, I'm not sure what this is. Is it based, based on like? Is it like? Is it like facts like which you can clearly define they're the best at, or is it like? A or is it like what they're known for? It says mostly per capita percent of population data, very small countries excluded. Um, can't answer that, but we'll just go with it. Just give me one <laughs> example. Okay, let's say name your country. Anyone? Uh... Uganda. Uganda, jeez. <laughs> you have to um, out where that is on the map now. Uganda, entrepreneurs. Oh, entrepreneurs. wow. Yeah. So they have more entrepreneurs per capita than any other country? I guess. What you guess? <laughs> Man, you're That's what we're going with. We're going with, well, it says that, doesn't it? It says per, mostly per capita. Yeah, we'll go with that. That's about, what it says. Sweet. Got to be true. Wakanda. Okay, so let's go back then. So Australia, so Australia what do they do per capita better than any other country? Per capita. <laughs> Well, I um, can't answer because I saw the first part, but not the second. So I didn't even understand what it meant. But I saw what the are first we, What part. are we known for? Not drinking. I've realised this game, you're never going to get any of these right. But it's fun anyway. <laughs> um, is, it, is, it, is, it, is it food related? It is not. So it is Barbecue. technology related. What? Technology <laughs> related? By the most laptop. And it's not something you do well. Huh? Oh, it's not something we do well. Oh, no. Oh, no. crash. Oh, no. Uh, IT stuff? I don't know. Tell us. Cybersecurity incidents. Oh. Cybersecurity. So they're the best, but it says they're the best at cybersecurity incidents. So you're the best <laughs> at being hacked, I guess. I mean. <laughs> oh. There are actually a lot of bank warnings when you log in going, oh, we've had a security breach. Let us know if you. <laughs> let us know if there's any concerns <laughs> on your, with your bank no, account. You know what? <laughs> that was impossible to get. Is there anyone we might yeah. get? Um. <sighs> You know Otherwise, what? let's just let's just read some out and we. Let's can just read. It. I don't know. Like, if to be honest these. with you, this seems to be going absolutely like you know. All right, let's read and some. Burnt. Each so, every person read. Say one country that you want to know. Deb, go. The Philippines. The Philippines. Um, social networking. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah, they're massive. Yeah. They because really? they always get outsourced. I Everything hear gets it outsourced all day, every day from Deb's phone. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Read uh, Libya. Oh, Back it. <laughs> what? What? No. Back and then Egypt. What? <laughs> Heavy women. No. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> is it because they're next to each other? No, that? Is, is the food there just that good? <laughs> what was the last two? Heavy women in Egypt. So do all the fat kids from Libya move over to all the fat women, fat girls move over to Egypt when they're older <laughs> to get married? <laughs> I like them, um, maybe. <laughs> UK's I thought was interesting just because I never expected it. Billionaires. What? So we, have, so we have the most billionaires per capita. I thought that would be like Switzerland or something. That makes sense no, in the no, UK. That's, just, that's just what all their money is. Oh, no, maybe not. Yeah, but like, oh, I guess. What yeah. the pr- N- oh, Norway, no. man. Pizza eaters. I've heard Norway? that. Like, <laughs> Pizza no eaters in Norway. Pizza per capita than any other country. What? <laughs> that's brilliant. That's insane. 
It's on, but it's right. advertised here. They're like, they're not, they're not even ashamed of it. They're like, yeah, we eat pizzas. Yeah, okay. Are they, <laughs> do you are want your... to figure out a better way around to do this as well? Wait, one second. How how expensive is the pizzas in Norway? What, like, Cheap in or... a freezer section? No. Or... <laughs> Domino's or pick up like wherever. Micro. Domino's? Uh, I think a Domino's good. pizza in euros would be about, I don't know, like a medium pizza from Domino's without a deal. Yeah, would be like eight, 18 euros, <gasps> I guess. Wow, Ooh, that's quite expensive. That's, Ooh, expensive. that's a lot. Five bucks for us. No, only for pepperoni or cheese. That's all I eat. Pepperoni. Same here. <laughs> so it's five bucks. <laughs> but Dev's one is fourteen. Ugh. Um, but, he, but he's a little girl. Hey, uh, Alexander, <laughs> if um, yeah. if Norway is pizza, what's uh, Italy? Oh. Okay. Pasta well, this sauce. actually, I was gonna. Uh, you just ruined one now. Oh, Don't sorry. So, Pasta. Italy. It is food. Guess what it is? Oh, tomatoes. Olives. Oh, I tell you potatoes. what. This food is related to another nation, but not as a food. Chili, chow mein. What? Chow mein. I don't know. It's related. It... This food is related to New Zealand, but not kiwi. as a food. Kiwi. kiwi fruit. Kiwi. Sheep. They eat more kiwis than anyone. In Italy. Italy. Yeah, that's what I, I was going to say. Really, think eat more kiwis. I was hoping you'd say New Zealand. That's <laughs> random. How about, how about, how about, how about we'll get we'll get very racist <laughs> and we'll say a cat. You say the answer. Yeah, that's so, what I was thinking. For example, I say there is a country which is the best for gay porn. <laughs> oh man, we can get in I, so much I trouble. Think it's do, a you European the, country. do you know what the joke is about this one as well? It's not a country you would think. A European country. No. <laughs> African country. America. Nope. It's Thailand. No, it's probably in the two, continent two you would expect the least as well. Two continents left. Thailand. It's that's in the right continent. continent. Canada? Asia. What? <laughs> yeah, it's in Asia. Vietnam. Thailand? No. Just just to say you're going through every Asian country. <laughs> China? Pakistan. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Gay porn. I like the way I'm like, yeah, makes sense. <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean, oh, yeah? What do you mean, oh, yeah? That wouldn't have come to my... Yeah, to, because... To mind. I assumed that there would be... <laughs> I guess gay porn up there. I think they are. Oh, I've got one for you. If you this one, sh you probably of all of them should be able to guess this okay. within maybe five. Okay. Yeah. If not less. Okay. Jailed journalists. Uh, Russia. Iraq. Iran. Iran. Saudi Arabia. Libya. Okay, maybe not. North uh, Korea. Yeah, North Korea. <laughs> think, think. North Korea. Russia. China. No, China. But oh, it's per capita, yeah. is why I try to choose smaller ones. That's true. But, well, but, how many, general, how many journalists are capita. in jail in China? Dude, that's not per capita, then. It might be. China, no, wait. China's is huge, yeah. China's you never know. <laughs> Lace has just made me uh, think of a really completely non-related question oh yeah what how did velcro not beat laces why are we still using laces it is quite I'll just think like that you saying bolt why 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 did they have laces on his shoes i don't know hmm engineer oh. come on huh. um i reckon it's a political political issue <laughs> <laughs> that's always my answer when i don't know an engineering question uh, by the way <laughs> political issue having laces it's, was it's a silent like protest for, for kids we gave kids Velcro because yeah. it was easy and yeah. went, oh, you're an adult now, let's make it a little bit harder. <laughs> Maybe it's a social <laughs> thing then. Like, if you're wearing Velcro, it just shows you don't know how to tie your laces. Yeah. Maybe look it up. Why Velcro, why we don't use Velcro straps instead Most of... Most likely because... Laces it... have, like, a better performance... No, nah. Because maybe, like, you could... I was thinking... You know what I think it is? the same he's, thing. He's that running that fast. It's to... His foot would actually yeah. split it. It would not be able to hold. Are you being serious? With Velcro? Yeah. I think it won't be able to hold his foot because he's running that quickly. Because all that force. I think maybe maybe uh, laces are much more adjustable than Velcro. I think it says Velcro well, are functionally superior to shoelaces. It huh? That's what. So it now says. there's even less reason. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but I was thinking, I was thinking, uh, yeah, like the stabilizers on a bike when you're a kid is easier. Then you go into a bike, but obviously then <laughs> the bike's easier to use without stabilizers. Yeah. Like if, a if a 25 year old man turns up on stabilizers, you'd be like, what? What are you doing? <laughs> Somehow, maybe it's the same with Velcro. Like, 
<laughs> you only wear Velcro shoes? Oh my well, God. one step Fuck. further, one step further, how about buckles? Like those yeah. ones that you use on the ski, ski boots. That if you want to get it really tight. Oh. Oh, like thread the strap through yeah. and then lock yeah. it in. I've not been skiing, but I'm thinking of roller skates. Yeah, and then, you, like and then you can ratchet it up until you want it. No, yeah. I'm honestly thinking because you're running that Ratchet fast. It up. How tight that do you want force? your shoes? I don't want it to fall <laughs> off when I'm running that under 10 seconds. Have you ever <laughs> have you ever um, tied up your laces and fall out? I just can't get them tight enough with these laces alone. I need a, a ratchet button. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I... Other than when you're skiing and snowboarding Dev, and rollerblading. Dev, Dev went for the tight. I just went for the easy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm lazy. I don't want to tie shoelaces anymore. Just give me a quick Velcro, slap it down, done, walk out the door. Because they've got I don't know. What's weight reduction. That's the, what I do now. Nah. You've seen the new know. shoes? New shoes you put it in and it um it sort of molds to your feet. Like it gives you the tightness. Say what now? We talk which one? Um I think it's Adidas. Cause there's so there there was a pair of T Max, Tracy McGrady, for those who don't know T Mac, basketball player, that came out when I was a kid. Because I had them, and they were ones that you could tighten around. Like there was a sting, you tighten it around your foot. There's the um, the the ones what? from. Wait, wait, we said a thing where you tighten it around your foot sounds exactly the same as a lace. No, so basically <laughs> you put your foot in, and it has a screw in the heel that will like pop out, and you would like squeeze oh. it. And it would, there was like a, a mesh that goes around your foot, and it'll get tighter and tighter. So the whole mesh gets tighter, not just the. Yeah. Wow. Ah. And then there was the. Um, the one like the Back to the Future, Nike went and made those. So they're electronic. You put your foot in, then it like yes, that's the one I'm talking about. That's the oh, one I'm talking about. That's yeah, cool. yeah, yeah. So they 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 were um, inspired by Back to the Future, but Nike actually went ahead and yeah. made them. Yeah, that that was only like a year ago. Or yeah, something, like, that's right. Really I think we talked about it, but it think, didn't make the cut. Do you think we have like uh? Do you think shoes? Because we've had laces for a long time now, right? Yeah. yeah. And we agreed we already come up with a better solution yeah. years ago in, in Velcro. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think it's going to change? Like, yeah. Probably. Laces are the headphone jack of shoes. I just read a thing. We're, <laughs> the we're, headphone jack of shoes. We're still tying <laughs> yeah. our laces with our shoes with string. Like, you don't even think of it, but it's it's just string. That we're using. I just <laughs> learned about how why Velcro came around. Why? Why? <laughs> this guy mm -hmm. was walking, Swiss amateur mountaineer, taking his dog for a hike. And then he got home and realized that he got all these burrs on him, which are like those sticky things that stick to you. And he was like, what? So he got a microscope, looked at them. You know, those sticky things, the round little sticky things. Yeah. And he saw they had all these like hooks on it, like, like these stiff hooks that clung to you. And so he literally from that went out and like reproduced these tiny little hooks, which was basically turned into Velcro. Yes. So pretty much Velcro is um, cool. boots with the burrs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Very like nice. so many great we, inventions I, we take. I feel like we've got a whole, new, um, a whole new brand we need to launch right now. <laughs> some Velcro shoes. <laughs> viral, viral. Like Velcro shoes. <laughs> like even laces snap. Like there's so many problems with it. I know. I know. Then you have to, when you put a new one on, you have to... Put them through all the holes and oh make sure it's the right thing. Oh, come on. It's just, not yeah. that hard. The future generation. <laughs> Seriously. The future generation. What's wrong with you? I'm going to look back it's and like be like. 30 seconds. <laughs> you don't have 30 seconds to put a, your laces through the holes? Is your life not that busy? Um, it's longer not than 30 seconds. <laughs> CJ, add all those 30 time. seconds in your life and replace it with a quick slap of a Velcro. How much time are you saving? 30 seconds. 30 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I get you. Every time. Yeah. Every time. Maybe. But, and to be honest with you, I tell my shoelaces once you my foot If you spend 30 <laughs> seconds a day working on your laces, in a year you spend over three hours there you go. tying up your wow. laces. There we go. a long time. You could listen to four <laughs> of our episodes. <laughs> and you know what? Instead of that's tying only, your laces. And that is That's time only if special. you don't mess up tying the first time. Did those, um... I buy <laughs> shoes with no laces now. Oh, so what so are you, you about? I'm just saying, if I had to put laces on, <laughs> I wouldn't be like, oh, I'm going to put it through the holes. It's so hard. <laughs> <laughs> but what happened to like, those? Oh, um, my God. You don't put it through the holes, holes every single time. How do I get these <laughs> laces into these holes? What shall I do? <laughs> what happened to those new age ones where you press the button and it just tightens around no, your we just Were you not part of that discussion? No. <laughs> You were here, weren't you? Oh. <laughs> Alexander right, just right. said that. Maybe I was reading my history lesson on Velcro. 
<laughs> we literally just talked about that for like five minutes. Oh man. But my um my work shoes my work shoes um because like in Norway often you're out in the snow working like on the oh. railways. They're the ones where you put your feet in and you sort of just twist uh <gasps> like circle thing and then that like tightens up the laces. And the laces are actually made wow. out of a Velcro? like a plastic metal I think it's got aluminium on the inside. But so like rather than having to like grab two yeah, strings, I've both seen the that. like strings uh, yeah. go into the circle thing and then you just twist it and See, then it just like, that would be better. so you can do it with big thick gloves on. Yeah. Oh with the gloves. And then it's also quick release. You just like clip it and it just like releases no. super quickly. So they're cool. They should have that for kids. And it's good for like blind people or oh. people that struggle with mm. laces. Like Alex. Because he can't put them through the holes. I do. Like Alex. They should really I have should. that for kids' school shoes. Clarks. Come on, Clarks. Do you know like a really weird slash interesting slash pointless but very useful what? fact about yeah. shoelaces, which is hard to explain. When you tie your shoelaces, have you, you got, are you wearing shoes now? No. Yes. Slides. No. I, I'm wearing thong. I am. Dongs. I'm, I'm wearing socks. Uh, when, so when you tie your shoelaces, Alex, is you, is the bows, are they facing down your foot or are they perpendicular? Mine to your usually go foot? down because of the way I do it. Are they perpendicular yeah. or down? Out to the are side. They, do, they, do they point at your toe or do they point out to the side? I always get jealous of the those that are able to do it perpendicular. So you, you're bad at tying shoelaces, Alex. Oh. Why? So when, do you know there's, when you do the first, so you, when you tie your shoelaces, you put it tight and then you do that first initial yeah. loop when you like tuck it under, right? So and loop, then you around. make it, yeah, and then you do a bow and wrap yeah. it around. No, 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 I don't do that. If, oh, oh how, what do you do? Are you talking about, because I know there's, <laughs> I you talking about make a loop, make a loop, a wrap a loop around. I can't believe no, that no, that one's way yeah. too hard. I don't do that. I do. Okay, but even so, the other one? I do make a loop, wrap it around, right. and then thread and it through and pull the loop. Yeah, that's that, yeah. that's what I'm talking about. Oh, okay. Okay. So when you when you do that, if you pull it and it goes like the way yours is going, that means you've done it <gasps> wrong because you need to change the direction you do the first loop. I feel and so then it will amazing face right downwards. now. And then and then the crosses, like the the knot, is then in a much more secure position. So your laces are much less likely to loosen. Oh, uh, do you want me to tell you the easiest way to make your loose laces not loosen? You know when you do the initial crossover and through? You do another one. Mm -hmm. If you do that twice and pull, it will stay. Yeah, the lady, it won't loosen well, up. The lady in the school shop You just do it the other way and then you have to do it that. twice. No, you just, then you it's just a quick, every five seconds. You just go whack, whack, pull. Yeah. And it, yeah. You, don't, you don't have to put bows on. You don't have to put bows on. Like a duck? Yeah, like a duck. <laughs> you won't have to <laughs> like worry about this. Yeah. You don't have to worry about this. Our Vel Velcro... Shoes are going to be viral go. soon. Yeah. The B-side the shoes. B-side. What was the name? But I'm going to tell you one thing uh, now. Boots with the burrs. As a That's gonna be pre service school teacher, <laughs> I have been told do not tie little boys' shoe laces. Why not? Because when they go girls? to the toilet, whatnot dribbles down their legs onto their shoes laces. And when, you, when their shoe laces oh. come undone and they say, Miss, can you tie my shoe laces? They're like, never do it. So, so what do you do? Get them to do it themselves. Do it yourself. <laughs> Aren't you mean? What? <laughs> You're really happy. I'd never that? ever say that. But um, yeah. Do it yourself. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, you can't touch like the lower half of any little boy. No, from it's one. not like you're not you're not not allowed it's to. They're just like <laughs> they're just like nah, just uh, <laughs> avoid that at all costs. Um, <laughs> just the shoelaces. Yeah. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching this week's episode of the B Side Word. Make sure if you enjoyed it to hit that like button. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe and drop us your thoughts in the comments down below. Hit the bell, hit the bell. Hit the bell, hit the bell. Hit the bell. Hit the bell. bell.